I like it too. I think we're looking pretty good. Pretty darn handsome if I do say so myself, except for your gloves are still remarkably blue. Anyways, welcome back to the Genus Brewing channel. Today we have something atypical for us. Which is that, does that make it super atypical? I had a customer actually point me towards AMA USA for a section of grain grinders they have. And I started wondering, like, the price point comes in really, really well, uh, especially considering they're electric. Uh, and so I reached out to them and said, hey, will this work for, for brewing? And if so, can you send me one so we can try it out? And so that's why we have this behind us. Peter, get us a mill. Got us a mill. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look uh, at this and we're going to use it and compare it to the mill that we currently use, which is a monster brewing hardware mill we love. We've had for over six years now and it works phenomenally. I like, I don't know how it hasn't imploded on itself. It probably should just self-destruct at any <laughs> point. Uh, but we're going to take this apart, put it together. Those were contradictory. Well, let's get to it. Without further ado. Nobody really cares about seeing stuff in a box. It's my stuff in a box. We already right. made that reference. First thing I notice is that's bent. Maybe it's supposed to be bent. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be bent. It does look like a very clear cut bend. Wow, this thing is like really compact, isn't it? Oh. I'll, I'll pull, yeah. I'll, I'll push. <laughs> Feels like the first time. What are you doing? Out? There we go. Caught up on the switch, duh. Like I said before, this guy looks to be the guts of the operation. That's the, the stuff that's doing the things. The stuff that's doing the things. Including a little filter, which is actually really cool. Uh, not many mills on the home scale have that kind of filter oh, yeah. mechanism. Uh, so that things that are too large can make it through. Yeah. <laughs> Instructions, you know it's going to take us way too long to actually look at these. This is actually going to work differently than your conventional roller mill. This looks like it's got a blade that literally just comes with wax stuff apart. There's a couple different uh, grades of filters. Ah. So we can really, really choose what we uh, what we want to be sending through this guy. I know this can be used to make flour flour, which, uh, you know, that's obviously a pretty fine grind, way finer than we need in the homebrew scale. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll also see how big of a grind it can make and see if it can work for us and how dial in it is. Really big base, a uh, little catch tool. Um, so it comes with that so you can have a lot of grain that you can be grinding. Uh, the downside to that is that the hopper, not quite as large, um, but that's still, I'd say this is bigger than a standard 12 pound hopper. This is probably, probably hold like 15-ish pounds of stuff in that. Somewhere in there. Yeah. So let's figure out how to put this thing together. Is this gonna be plug and First play? thing is pretty much, stop smiling. This isn't working. It just pops on. And how's that going there? Should be a couple bolts, I think. Bam! So that part's pretty Just easy. that easy. Has this lever here that allows you to basically throttle back the amount of grains that you're feeding at any given point. Um, otherwise, pretty basic machine right now. Yeah, there's this washer, which I'm sure is supposed to go somewhere that we have yet to. Right there? Yep. Yeah, little rubber washer. You always get it getting it on. Let's get it on. Don't go changing. Don't go changing waterfalls. Not even the right song. Little washers and bolts. Now this thing came pretty dirty, like machine-like, so we're not going to be using it for brewing grains right off the bat. We're just going to kind of test it out, and then uh, we'll want to give it a more thorough wash before we actually run some brewing grains through it. This thing is remarkably easy to put together. Yeah. Compared to most homebrew mills that I put together, it's like two bolts in the casket. Yeah. So that was it for assembly. Just those bolts that we just screwed on that you guys didn't get to watch, but they're they're on. Literally two bolts here, here. There's a gasket under there, and it's fully assembled. So we got this all clean now, and we're gonna go ahead and put it back together, and then give it some test runs. Uh, I did go ahead and take off. It comes with one of these uh, screens already on it. Uh, the one that it comes with is the largest size. It comes with four different sizes of these, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on. Uh, now that I got them all clean, we're going to put on the second smallest one and see how that works, both for crush and keeping some husks intact, um, which is important for being able to use a grain bed as a filter and for not getting a stuck barge. So we're going to try this one, and then we're probably going to try the second largest one, uh, third smallest one as well. So let's get this put back on. Yeah, so this is actually just, it's just a steel, basically, crusher. And what this is going to do is it's going to um, force the grains in through these screens. Um, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much that... Pulverizes pumice. Yeah, it's literally just gonna smack them really fast. It's always important to get your nut on there. Ah! All right. 
So that just sounds dangerous. Do not have splinting, spinning death blade near crotch. <laughs> Hold on. I think you want to have it turned on before you add the grains to it. Got about three pounds of grains here. So uh, you turn it on and I'll just kind of pour them down. Are you ready? Yeah. Jesus, I hope I don't kill myself. <laughs> Uh, that definitely took longer than we're used to on our on our monster mill. I'm guessing that's because we used one of the finer grates that we have, uh, the second smallest. And so we're gonna take a look at the crush and find out if that's actually accurate, and see uh, maybe try it again with the bigger. I, I have a feeling grate. we're gonna have flour. Yeah, that's possible. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah. we definitely have flour. Get some crazy efficiency out of that. Yeah. Size number two is now on. So we're gonna try that one out and see if it makes less flour and more brewable grains. Stop spitting on me. You can do it. Oh, slightly larger grains. Go bigger. You got more little clumpies. You definitely have to go to the biggest size. Biggest size, coming on. Now we got the largest one on there. This is the one that originally came with it. Um, hopefully we can get just large enough of a crush that it actually leaves some of the husks intact. <laughs> Better designed hopper. Yeah, so now we've got whole grains and some flour. So all in all, a really cool experiment. This is actually, I'm still surprised that something that can do that cool of like make powder like that. Um, I think this mill is designed to make flour. It's designed to make <laughs> flour. Uh, if you have a way to mash flour, if you want to add a little extra maybe efficiency to your brew day on top of some other things, like yeah. possible to use with oh, some yeah, no, I'm gonna, maybe, but I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna try to mash it let's, and yeah, let's, uh, see what I can actually get out of it. We should flour the rest of this and then just uh, super just, flour. Just go down to the, the medium one and then just uh, see if we can actually turn this yeah. into beer somehow. We'll let you know how that goes. Uh, other than that, definitely not a brewing mill. Uh, but for the price point, uh, I think this was coming coming at like barely over two hundred dollars or something like that. It's not too bad. Yeah, at the price point, uh, not too bad for an all electric mill that can make flour for you. And uh, we'll we'll put some links down and. Uh, let you know how the brew day goes. Right. Till next time on Genus Brewing. Cheers.